Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished Mount Morbona, well we got enough moons, we didn't do the story or anything. The bird is still up there, although we can't see it from here. We can see the little light, there it is. Uh, but we shall be advancing now onto the next part. Uh, as mentioned, we will be moving into spoiler territory at this point. We are nearing the end of the game, there are some twists and things that will be coming up and if you don't want to see that this is a good spot to stop because we've just basically seen normal levels up till now and we're moving into the ending so yeah uh spoiler start in three two one <laughs> so we're gonna cash in those 18 moons there we go We are at the minimum count to get past this point. We have not collected any extra moons. So there'll be a lot to do in the wrapping up videos once we've actually done the story. Uh, so we will be indicate... Uh, sorry, what Cappy will indicate is that we can go to Bowsette's Kingdom. Uh, however, just as with the Metro Kingdom earlier, that may not be where we're going. <laughs> So, yeah, we're taking off. Uh, once again, spoilers ahead. So, you know, stop the video at this point if you don't want to see what happens next until you've played the game. So, yeah. I won't be skipping any cutscenes just to, you know, give you a little more time to quit out if you want to quit out. <laughs> yeah, we were the ingredients. It is actually quite hot in this room where I'm playing, so yeah, it, is, it does feel like that. <laughs> yes, I know about triple jumps, I've done a few of those. Also, yes, Cappy is adorable. She, she thought it was some other, some other Bowsette, not that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. And here we go, we're moving into the end game. Phase one is, yeah, a gigantic Dark Souls dragon. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. Also, Mario confirmed was still a plumber despite not being a plumber anymore. And yeah, Mario survives that without any problem. Like, we don't even take damage. The Odyssey does crash, but... Mario's fine, Cappy's fine, everyone's fine, so... Who knows? Uh, anyway, the Odyssey is wrecked again, just like when we went to the Lost Kingdom earlier, but this time we will be somewhere different. Once we arrive, which, here we are. The Ruined Kingdom, Crumbledon. And yeah, it's, it's very, like, Final Fantasy, very Dark Souls, very Castlevania even. It, it, it's an interesting look <laughs> compared to the rest of the game. Uh, we only need three power moons, and we actually get a multi-moon by going up the main direction, so we won't be doing any of the other moons here. There are some other moons here. Uh, you do... There, there are, I think... Let me see. I think there's nine turtle moons here, maybe? Or ten. Nine or ten. And... Uh, and, yeah, those moons... We will be getting later, but for now, we're just going to go do the boss fight, which is up here. Uh, this boss, you actually fight as Mario, without any, like, equipped power-ups or captures or anything, so we'll see how we go. I also have a lot of trouble with this boss compared to some others normally, so we'll see how we, we do. And yes, the boss is that gigantic dragon. <laughs> Uh, so, first attack is these, like, lightning wheel things. Just gotta basically move around a lot to dodge them. Um, not too tricky. Uh, then, face slams down, and there's these lightning bolts. Uh, actually, this version is not that hard to dodge, honestly. Um, the later version of this boss is much harder. Uh, this part might be tricky because we can't really do things as quickly as we're supposed to. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. You have to break off all of the little, like, stick things before the dragon powers back up in order to actually damage it. And we didn't manage to do that. get hearts by slamming these on the ground, which is handy. Oh, uh, this is not going well. Okay, so if you've already slammed them, actually stay slammed, which is helpful for our playthrough here, where we're kind of slow. Stop long jumping! Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was our first attempt. Lose a few coins, and we try again. Okay, actually spawn slower back over here, which is interesting. Hmm. I wonder. Hang on. There's a moon. I know where to get one of the other moons. Let me just think for a bit. Uh, there's the battle. There's one more. I wonder if we can reach the sub area. Maybe you don't actually have to do this boss battle. Um, I think you probably do, but maybe there's a way around it? I don't think there is, though. I think you have to do this boss battle, which is annoying. Because it's proving to be difficult. Um, because, yeah, there are three other moons that can be accessed before completing the game here. But I don't think we have access to two of them, so we actually can't get to the three moon total we need. I, I believe you can fight this boss and we unlock those two. Please. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> you have to hit the boss three times, I think. Um, and naturally, it gets you know harder after each attempt. So you may have some trouble. There we go. Okay, that's one hit out of three. Uh, the, like, thing on its head respawns, so you can't hit the weak point again immediately. Got a... Oh my god. They stick safe time. Make people want to No! <laughs> okay, I got most of them, so we're doing alright. <sighs> yeah, after you take damage, you actually uncrouch for a second, which is interesting. Unless you do a normal capture, of course. Um, but you have to take damage to do it, obviously, so... It's not that helpful for our run. <laughs> no. I'm having a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, the number of like big wheels obviously increases by a lot. They can fight the fight for a while. No. <laughs> 
might actually need to get a life up part for this. Jeez, this is really hard. <sighs> yeah, the regular version of this boss is normally not that difficult, but this version, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Okay, I made it nearly all the way through the boss though. I was up to the third phase, so... Where'd we go? Dragon in time, god. Okay. This is really tough. Okay, just keep rolling, 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 rolling. And another cap bounce, there we go. Like, thankfully, the little sticks don't respawn until you've actually hit the dragon, so it's possible to hit a few of them at a time rather than go. Which I don't think I'd be able to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. This... Oh, hello. The crazy cap salesman guy. What are you doing here? Are you gonna sell me, you're selling life hub hearts. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy one. Okay, so that's obviously there for this exact reason. Because... This fight is mandatory and kind of hard, and at a certain point, the game takes pity on you. I don't know why that random Tostarina is here, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, phase one. Seriously? Already? Okay, that shouldn't be too long, so probably. Yep. Yep, lightning's back already. So yeah, this dragon has, like, lightning bells or something? I don't know. In any case, it can destroy the Odyssey pretty easily. And again, Bowser's cannon can do that too, so you know, whatever. Odyssey's pretty fragile. Anything that hits it in the game basically destroys it. <laughs> yeah! Okay, that's one. And I have full health. Although I did use up a heart to get the full health, so, you know. I'd be completely doing one of those capitalist things. <laughs> okay, that's how you do that. Bam! Okay, two out of three, two out of three. And I still have full health, and I still have double health, in fact, so... 
see how we go. Let's see how we go. Mm. This is much harder to dodge at this stage. Ah! Final hit. Oh my goodness, this took a while. I'm just gonna make that a video by itself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so that gives us the multi moon for fighting the Lord of Lightning. <laughs> and yeah, that's crumbled in. There are, as I mentioned, some extra moons you can get here, but we won't be doing it right now. For now, we will just be repairing the Odyssey. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it now. We can. <laughs> Gently paused. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, you only need three moons to repair it this time instead of ten for some reason. It's kind of weird. Anyway, the Odyssey is restored. Although the paint's been pretty damaged all over there. <laughs> and you immediately take off to go to the next kingdom. happens to be where we were going before. It's Bowsette's castle. So I will include this little bit of cutscene here in the same video. And then we can move on to the next one. Uh, yes, yeah, side somersault. I can't actually do those, so... Bowsette's Castle, yeah! Uh, if eagle-eyed players may notice that there's exactly one sail missing on the Odyssey at this point before it's filled up. <laughs> uh, so here we are, it's Bowsette's Castle. Um, the aesthetic is pretty cool, um, and the music here is very good. We'll be doing this next time though, so thank you.